Tom Hardy was tits. Although I was kind of bummed he never murdered that wheezy uh, dude. Uh, uh, don't spoil it. I haven't actually seen this one yet. Wait, you haven't seen it? I, I thought we were, how are we gonna do our whole thing? I have a, a thing planned. That's not the Dan we know. Wait, you think? Think what? That that's not the Dan we know. Maybe somebody body switched with Dan. It was late. I had a stomach thing. I always have a stomach It thing. is wearing glasses. I wear glasses. Did none of you notice this moment? Did you just call me it? Soren, hold him down. I'm gonna need a load of his blood. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Everybody, let's just be cool. Sorry. Pod people have been a real trigger for me ever since I saw The Thing as a kid. I had fight contingencies for every member of my family, just in case they turn into a head spider monster. The secret is to kick them as hard as you can. I always had nightmares that Wilford Brimley was hiding under my sink. I'm sorry, are we actually gonna do this? Are we gonna talk about head spiders over food? Immediately after Michael tried to extract my blood with a blistering fork? I wasn't going to extract your blood with a blistering fork. I was gonna dip the fork into your blood like a red hot liquor maid. <laughs> or fun dip. Whichever candy dipped in candy your region preferred. Then if your blood freaked out, it'd be a simple matter of burning this place to the ground so as to quell the grotesque reaping of humanity. I mean, at that point, anyone could be an infectious head spider monster. That's why you gotta dip it, to nip it, before they s spread it. Except, uh, they wouldn't spread it at all. Are you even paying attention? Head spider monsters, Dan. Exactly. This isn't some quiet infestation like Invasion of the Body Snatchers. The alien from the thing has to explode and then eat a whole guy to replicate. That's both really time consuming and extremely conspicuous. Wilford Brimley estimates that the whole world will be engulfed in 27,000 hours, but that one alien has an entire day to fail at infecting like 10 guys and some dogs. Right, that's because they have a built-in warning system. If an outbreak happened in like Northern Canada, news would be flooded into the US with these like flesh gumbies just going hentai on some Mountie. So you just stay at the border with a bunch of flamethrowers and thumbtacks, just, just poking people, wow. The aliens in the thing suck at discretion, huh? Yeah, Wilford Billy's estimates are clearly just drunken jackass fantasy. Don't just say it. He, he could be listening. He could be anywhere. What about aliens? Which aliens? The aliens from Alien. There are no aliens in Alien. There's an alien in Alien. You mean the alien aliens or the aliens aliens? Any aliens is. Okay, they are literally built to whack entire planets with a combo of like body horror and, and insect-like swarming. Until the predators show up and orcan man that shit. Team Predator. Team Predator. Okay, let's pretend for a moment that we live in a world where Predator 2 doesn't exist and the whole alien skull Easter egg didn't snowball into a massive franchise. No, I don't want to live in that world. Okay, well in that universe, the moment that a queen alien burst out of Dan's chest, it would have been game over, man, for the whole human race. I mean, that's why in Alien Resurrection, Ripley would rather crash her ship into the Earth than populate it with her ghoul face love child. But we do have Predators. Please, just let Predator 2 go. No, I mean, we have Predator drones right now. What do all the alien films have in common? Mouth sex. They all take place on a dark, secluded ship or space station with a handful of guys that are either outnumbered, outgunned, or both. Take that same fight to Earth, and suddenly we've got tanks and predator drones and jets and missiles, and most importantly, the goddamn sun. Yeah, the alien would look a lot less menacing if it was just walking across a hot, bright desert. So their mating process is to lug people back to their hive like a bag of dog food so that dick lobster can get it on with their esophagus. That's, that is not efficient. I'm starting to think that the whole body horror alien genre fell apart the moment that we figured out how to napalm people from a desk. Which is why predators are the clear winners. They have ships, they've got shoulder cannons, they've got cloaking devices, their wrists explode. Plus Plus they've got those face mandibles. That's body horror, brute strength, and superior technology. Except they always lose. Dan, you're being a real thick stick in the mud right now. A real thick one. Mud that can be used to outsmart Soren's precious predators. Hey, they are everyone's precious predators. They belong to the world. Face it, every Predator film is about one or two of their guys hunting us for sport with all the technology in the universe and yet they still end up dead. They're like the rich, idiot, trophy hunting dentists of space. Come to think of it, they won't even attack unless you pose a threat. Hey, what are you doing? Team Predator! No, he's right. They were conservationist hunters. Their interest lies in just capturing a few people, not taking over the world. If they came here, they'd only bag and tag like three people, maybe, because they're actually terrible hunters, and then they leave. <laughs> this is malarkey. You're supposed to be Team Predator. You are supposed to be Team, not, not, well, certainly not naysaying. 
So what's yours? What's your big, terrible nightmare alien? I mean, the obvious one. Which obvious one? The classic horror film, E.T. <laughs> E.T., the extraterrestrial? Yeah, I had to go to therapy because of that movie. You did? Yeah, my parents made me watch it when I was 10. No. 10? Can you even imagine? I had to fast forward through most okay, of it. Okay, wait, just so we're all clear, you had to go to therapy over a film about... Have you guys seriously not seen E.T.? The movie about the crab-fingered oh. alien on a recon mission to harvest Earth? He spends most of the movie brainwashing a kid to do his bidding while he sucks out his life force. Is any of this ringing a bell? Oh my god, he's right. Now, of course he's right. Did you not no, see... No, near the end there's a scene when E.T. and Elliot are psychically linked and dying and E.T. just releases him mentally and then Elliot gets better while E.T. gets sicker. Right, because he's... Siphoning his soul like some kind of space chupacabra. All right, wait, back up, because it's been a while for me. So, E.T. has a psychic link with Elliot in that movie? Yeah, which he uses to project his will and emotions on Elliot. He literally puppets him like a marionette when Elliot's at school. Wow, it's really lucky that he was standing in front of her at the time. E.T. could have made him belly kisses principal or something. Or brainwash Elliot into loving him, helping him phone home, and then bring him to his ship so he can fast track the sixth extinction. Really though, E.T., the little alien guy, the poop goblin with a ride at Universal Studios? Why would he want to invade the Earth? Well, have you been on that ride? It's like a fear conveyor. The whole premise is that E.T.'s home planet is dying. Which is why they're collecting plants at the beginning of the movie, good god. Oh, wait, hold on. The ride at Universal Studios clearly shows that the species is peaceful. Not to mention the fact that E.T. has no reason to hate Earth. Other than all the cops running at him with shotguns. Uh, uh, they changed those to walkie-talkies in the later release of the film. Then they're just teasing him. Hey, E.T., we can phone home whenever we feel like it. Yeah, and Elliot's older brother and his friends are kind of dickbags. Let's do it, Mike. We have to. Yeah, and he gets sick and starts dying because his entire stay at Earth is fueled by a combination of candy and beer. Make no mistake, if the E.T. aliens need a replacement planet, you can bet your ass they're coming after our asshole rock. Then we would just army the shit out of them. Whatever. Would we? Or would they, with a flick of their gross fingers, lift our entire military into the searing mesosphere? Boy, you have thought about this a lot. They wouldn't even have to. They could brainwash our children from orbit. It's a lot more discreet than the alien from the thing. Oh god, E.T. heals Elliot's wounds and breathes life back into flowers. For all we know, they could will someone to die, or raise their dead like White Walkers. They're telekinetic, they have psychic abilities, Wolverine-style healing powers, and they can make complex interdimensional communication devices out of our Garbage. Not to mention Jedi powers. Remember? In the Star Wars prequels, there's a group of aliens in the Senate who are clearly ETs. I don't know, I think that was just a throwaway Easter egg. I mean, in ET, there's a scene where he's showing ET all of his Star Wars toys. ET recognizes Yoda. In the Halloween scene, they pass a kid who's dressed as Yoda, and ET starts frantically running towards him like he's seeing an old friend. That means they exist in the Star Wars universe and the universe in which Star Wars was created, which means their species can travel interdimensionally through space and time, right? Like the aliens from Crystal Skull? They're just movies, buddy. I think we've opened up a really deep scab here. Who's to say they can't leave their movie and travel into our world? They're basically quantum- Alien test! Oh, what the hell? Which you passed. This is just because I haven't seen The Revenant? Tom Hardy's like so good in it, though. Right, that's what I was saying. Although I am sad that he didn't murder that wheezy dirtbag. Yeah, see, right there, I think maybe you and I watch movies differently. I feel like we breezed right past him burning me just now. Yeah, I've, I've given you some pretty sick burns in the past and we just glossed yeah. over it. This is, this is, <laughs> what are we doing? Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching whatever that video was. We hope you enjoyed it. We here at Cracked have been nominated for two Webby Awards. Best Humor <laughs> Website and Online Video Channel, which you are watching right now. So if you could go to the links in the description and vote for us both times, that would be amazing. We have until April 21st. Do it now. Thank you. USA! USA!